Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Sweet Pea Review Show. This is the show where we give back to our amazing Sweet Pea community and review the projects that you make and post on the Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs Facebook group. So if you're wondering why there hasn't been an episode of the review show for a few weeks, myself, Annette and Alison have been over in the Europe and UK doing sewing and quilt shows. We had an absolute blast of a time and we met some of our amazing Sweet Pea community from the UK and Europe. And we also made many new friends. So just another quick rundown of how the show will work before I get started is I've gone through our Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs Facebook group and searched for three designs that have caught my eye and I'm going to give them a review. So all of these projects have been entered in previous projects of the week so I'm able to use them on this video. And without further ado, on to my first pick of the day. Today, I'm so excited to showcase this beautiful wall hanging by Hatanika Rodika. She used our painted thread wall hanging embroidery design to create this stunning piece of art. Now, let me tell you a bit about the design itself. The painted thread wall hanging is a red work design that you can color in with fabric paint or permanent markers. It's such a fun and creative way to personalize your embroidery projects and the best part is, you can give it as a gift, unpainted, with a set of markers, so the receiver can have fun coloring it in themselves. But let's get back to Hatanika's creation. As you can see, she did an amazing job with the coloring. She used bright and bold colors that really made this piece stand out. And according to her, coloring it in was a great way to relax. I couldn't agree more. Overall, I think Hatanika's painted thread wall hanging is an amazing example of how our customers can take our designs and make them their own. It's a beautiful and unique piece of art that would look great in any craft room or living space. Thanks so much for sharing your creation with us. So that was my first pick of the day and now I'll quickly move on to my second. Next up, we have this stunning Pockets of Plenty tote bag by Nancy Zartman Haggy. I absolutely love the way she used African fabrics to create a unique and vibrant look for her back. It's truly a work of art. Nancy used a 6x10 size and added her own personal touches to make it even more functional, including inside zipper pockets, a magnetic snap closure and tabs to hang things from. I love how she made this bag her own and customized it to fit her needs. It's clear she put a lot of thought and care into making this bag both stunning and functional. One thing that really caught my eye about Nancy's bag is how the brown straps contrast with the white mesh and blue accents to give the bag a retro and unique look that I just adore. And despite the challenges of using a new technique and adding bag stiffener, Nancy managed to get the corners almost perfect. It's clear she's a skilled and creative embroiderer. Overall, I think Nancy's Pockets of Plenty tote bag is a fantastic example of how our customers can take our designs and really make them their own. It's a functional and beautiful bag that you'll be able to use for years to come. Thanks for sharing your creation with us, Nancy. Before I move on to my third and final pick for today, I would love to thank anyone that posts their photos of the completed projects on the Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs Facebook group. I say it often, but it is what really makes this job and company so great. It's you, our, our amazing community, that posts all your beautiful, beautiful projects onto that page. And it makes it really hard to just pick three of my favorites, but I just want to say that I love them all. And my final pick for today is Kimberly Larson Smith's All Round Alphabet Blocks and Quilt. It is a true labor of love. She made this beautiful quilt for a dear friend's first grandson, Henry. I can feel the love and care she put into each stitch of this project. The idea to flip the background and the letters for Henry's name is just brilliant. Not only will Henry learn his letters and colours, but he'll also learn his name. That's such a thoughtful and personalised touch. I love how the colourful letters pop out against the dark background and makes them stand out and adds to the playful feel of the quilt. The craftsmanship is top notch and you can tell that Kimberly put a lot of effort into each block. The use of polka dot and check fabrics is a great way to add some fun and variety to the quilt. It's little touches like this that make a quilt unique and interesting. Overall, I think Kimberly's all-round alphabet blocks and quilt is a beautiful and thoughtful gift that Henry will treasure for years to come. Thank you for sharing your amazing work with us, Kimberly. 
So those are my three picks for today's review show. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and maybe one day one of your projects can make this video. So remember to post photos on our Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs Facebook group. And also if you could, please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. If you want to shop the world's best machine embroidery designs and sewing essentials, head over to SweetPea.com. That is S-W-P-E-A.com. I'll see you next time.